Airbus is a mixed air model. So it assumes that all air in the system has mixed thoroughly and you've got um, this sort of volume of air. And what it doesn't do, therefore, is calculate stratification or, or pressure differential within the zone. It calculates pressure on the zone from outside, but that is a much more detailed calculation we're not going to get into in this class. It's called airflow network. This is a simplified method here of accounting for natural ventilation. It is very straightforward. If you look up here, these formulas here for uh, cross ventilation and stack ventilation are exactly the textbook formulas and uh, very easy to understand. I'll, I'll explain them in class. But um, all it's looking at is the opening area to your building or to the zone and uh, schedule and the wind speed. So that um, the wind speed is given by the climate data and the opening area you need to give it. And you also need to give it an orientation. So I've set up here south, west, east, north, and stack ventilation <clears throat> objects. It comes with five. And you should input the... Uh, free area, so the area of window that can be open to the outside, input it here for each orientation, and then uh, change the effective angle to the orientation of your building. Or Worcester is 12 degrees off, so I would change this to uh, 12 north, 102 east, and 282 west, and 192 south. In, in Worcester Hall, we've got west windows and north windows, we don't have south or east windows and we don't have any stack effects going on. So I've turned those all off. Now for the west windows, we've got 18 square meters of free area. Minimum and maximum indoor temperature I've set to be a very narrow band between 23 and 25 degrees. The theory here being that I would open these windows if it was between 23 and 25 degrees. If it's below 23 degrees, I'm not going to open them because the heat's going to be on. And if, I, if it's above 25, I'm not going to open them because the cooling will be on. Now, you can calibrate this with your cooling system and say, like, Worcester Hall has no cooling system. So I could set a very high thermostat set point for my cooling system to, say, 40 degrees centigrade. And then I can uh, increase this to, say, 30 degrees. They won't conflict with each other.